Hi everybody, it's Boaz Fala and I'm here with the daily astrology forecast for Saturday, March 12th, 2016. So, the moon is in Taurus today. What a pleasant day it is. You know, we've been going through some uh, sensitive times lately and this weekend is all about replenishing your energies. So, as I said, the moon in Taurus could really help us enjoy ourselves today. Essential pleasures are a key factor today. Allow yourself to indulge today. And there's a sextile to Neptune. This is a great time for artistic endeavors, for spiritual endeavors, for just enjoying it uh, in the company of people you love, going out to nature. This could be a great day for all of these. Just plug yourself into the charger today. A little later on, at around 2100 hours Central European time, that's around 1500 hours Eastern Standard Time, there's going to be a Queen Cox to Saturn, and we could feel that some of the responsibilities on our shoulders are just a bit too much, and we need to clear some things out, and we need to let go of some things, just to be uh, more sane and more free, and, and not lose it. Uh, another factor that could come into play is that there's a great sensitivity uh, with our relationships with older people and authoritative figures at this time, so we have to be careful not to go into confrontation. And a little later on, around 2300 hours Central European time, it's around 1700 hours Eastern Standard Time, there's a trine to Pluto, and Moon trine Pluto is a great time for uh, enjoying yourself and in, again indulging in the sins of the flesh or just finding power and energy to take your life forward and to uh, really th see things beneath the, th the surface and, and, and dwell into the more, um, to the deep and, and, and transcendent experiences of life. Not to scratch the surface, but really, really go into intense, uh, intense and, 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 tr and changing, you know, and transmuting energies and, and experiences. And if you'll be sleeping by then, then you might have just interesting dreams. Venus, the planet of relationship, the planet of satisfaction, the planet of love, is moving into Pisces today and she's going to stay there for the next month. And when Venus is in, Pi in Pisces, first of all, there's a utopic feeling. She's joining all the bunch of planets, the stadium of planets that are already in Pisces, and, and, and Venus in Pisces is, is very utopian. Venus in Pisces could be naive. Venus in Pisces is a great romantic. We could really feel the romance in our, relationship, in our relationships in the next uh, couple of weeks. But we need to be careful not to be too naive, that we won't be wo uh, woken up by the crude and harsh reality that we forgot to gaze at and, and didn't want to look at, you know. Um, Venus in Pisces, is all about uh, being at one with the world and giving yourself for that. So we have to be careful not to give too much of ourselves at this time, not to cancel, cancel ourselves altogether and to draw the borders between me and the other in a very correct and, and realistic manner and understanding that we need a healthy balance to go on if we want to be satisfied for a prolonged uh, time. Um, but there's something still very spiritual and very beautiful about this Venus in Pisces that we can all learn from and, and take into our relationships. It, it, it awakens the spiritual and the romantic within our relationships and that's a beautiful thing. And it doesn't look so much uh, on the carnal side of things, it looks in the more emotional and, and spiritual side of relationships. So, thank you for listening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.